we are doing some diamond exploration this morning. My 80-year-old neighbor, Walter Brennan, I mean Mac, <laughs> he looks and walks like Walter Brennan, but uh, he made this path through here for the deer to walk. And um, he has a mini X and brought it over here and dug a hole because he wanted me to see what was down in here. And so we're doing a little diamond exploration. This is what he's dug out. And this is interesting. Well, that just crumbled. But um, this is dirt on top. And then he got into a gravel layer. And we are 50 feet down slope from the Worthington Diamond Mine. And this hole is interesting to me. I'm taking a can of water with me to just kind of wet this to see a little better what color this is but I'm curious I mean I'm not a geologist I'm just a prospector and diamond miner and I'm gonna go down and if I can go down safely I better set my water can down hold on to the ladder or you're gonna see a funny video of an old man falling in a hole Help, I've fallen and I can't get up. Okay, now that I'm in here, let's, uh, I think if I wet this a little bit, we can get some of the dust and dirt from the upper layer of clay off of this gravel layer that we want to see. And it's just real black, which I would say Again, I'm not a geologist. I'm saying this is iron and manganese. And he said this layer is really hard to dig through with his mini excavator. And kind of what I'm thinking it is, it washed down from the Worthington Diamond Mine uphill, and this could have diamonds in it that eroded off of the top. See, the crater of Diamond State Park is 150 feet lower than it originally was. Well, the Worthington Diamond Mine is probably lower as well because we're right nearby the Crater Diamond State Park. But I find this layer really interesting and we, we're going to run through some through our diamond recovery plant just to see if there's diamond indicator minerals or diamonds in this layer. So, uh, thanks to Mac, he dug a hole. We were just talking about different layers of soil and gravel here and he's got 10 acres most of it he keeps mowed like a golf course but over here in the corner he's got some pines growing and then just made a path for the deer to go through and he's got another hole the reason he dug this hole for me he has another hole up here that has water for the deer now this is uh august 17th 2022 and it has been so hot and dry you wouldn't think there'd be water anywhere but he has water in this other pit this is for the deer to get a drink now that's pretty amazing to me but you know how the water would come through and that other hole was bone dry powder dry but this one he dug a little deeper and broke into i guess a aquifer anyway he's got water for the deer and a path for the deer and he likes seeing them go through here like i do well that's our little prospecting expedition for the morning and i think it's worth running through the diamond recovery plant we don't need the rock crusher for this. We won't be crushing any rocks. And the rock crusher is down. So maybe Thursday or Friday we'll run some of this material through the plant. If the crusher is not up and running again, we'll just kind of do a little exploration and check and see what might be in here. <laughs> 